Hi everyone. Hi guys. Welcome. We're back in the loft. We are. Come to be. It's been a while actually. It's nice. I mean, we've chosen the right time to do this video, I think, because September. September, and you know, we're inside. Yep. But actually, we have Funny to be in here. Cooler. It's cooler in here, and it, yeah. we had to be back in the loft for our first video in a while. Yeah. Because it's been a while. Well, last time we were at your place, weren't we? Yeah. Um, um, so we decided we haven't done one of these seasonal videos for a while. No, and well, because they don't come up very often. Yeah, and the seasons. And we're doing a kind of a, a summer retrospective, and it's definitely not because we recorded a video two months ago in a windmill in the middle of a field, but forgot to turn the sound on. No, I mean I don't think it would be anything no, like that. Really. It's nothing. It's no. in no way related to that. that and there's no way that we would have spent like loads of time doing it and then and it setting just up. didn't work. And it was a really good drop. Uh, um, maybe we'll splice in a bit of this clip with us. Uh, doing it slightly. Anyway, but here we are talking about the fragrances that we've worn most in the summer. Mm. This has been like, I mean, the world is dying because it's yes. never ever in my life yes. been so hot for so long. No, I mean, we've had some record days, haven't we? Yeah, multiple record breaking days. And I actually like, fried an egg on my own head. And it's just every day it's, it's just hot, like, uh, yeah. So, so you don't like it though so much, do you? I love the heat because I'm, no. I'm an Egyptian and I, I need sun. Yeah, so these, uh, you know, these summer fragrances are the ones we've been reaching for the most and, you know, for, for a long time. Yeah. So. Yeah. In fact, I've got one more. I'm going to, you talk and I'm just going to rescue one that's in here and I'm going to transfer it across. Okay. Sorry, I sure. will be right back with um, you. Yeah. I mean, I forgot there, that it was here. To be honest, I've been yearning for the days when we can get all those big dirty ouds out. Yeah, I mean, occasionally I have to say in the yeah, summer months, I've worn yeah. some of my bigger things. But there's certainly, but, but by and large, not. Um, it'd be interesting to see whether they're, you know, if we've gone for old favourites, reliable stalwarts. Good old reliable Nathan. That's a song in Dries and Dolls. All right. But I, I often think of that when I think of a perfume <laughs> each morning. That's just an old standby. Yes. I sort of hum that to myself. Yes. Ba -da -ba -da 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 and I spray it on, and then I <laughs> and then I leave the house, and I think, oh dear, <laughs> I shouldn't sing. Anyway, sorry. So, do you want to? Do you want me to kick off? I think we've got five each. Kick things off, yeah. Kick, uh, of our, yeah. I actually do have Hit six. Me. I thought I had five. Good. I've got okay, six as well. Um, there we go. Well, I think I'm going to start with one that I've started wearing a little bit more recently. And if we had made a video that we didn't have the sound on for, then this wouldn't have made it to that video. But it has now, which is this bad boy. Oh, London yeah. to Mumbai. Absolutely. Oh. Which I've, I have to say I've really enjoyed wearing a few times over I the summer. Really I mean, I've not worn very much. I don't really wear my perfume. I actually, so I, very I'm much. trying to think when I bought this. I bought mm. this in the winter and I actually wore it a lot in the winter. Yeah, I mean, I think it, it, for me, it's really worked nicely in the summer. And it has reminded me of like, I've sort of felt like a writer and traveling off on a train <sighs> in India somewhere with, yeah. with an old leather with satchel, some nice shaving gear. It's really, oh, it's such a good, you know, it's that real kind of like old school barber shoppy bit of geranium, bit of Very spice. Very much, yes. Not not desperately kind of groundbreaking, but just really no, classic. Just really, really nice, yeah. really really well done of its type. I, I mean, another mm. one I've worn a little bit occasionally is Tabu Shafandi, which you introduced me to. Really, because that, that's quite. I would have thought of that as not a summary fragrance. I know, but it, it's just worked on a couple yeah. of days. Like the Andy Tower, you know, uh, doesn't. You know, I, yeah, yeah. I've worn that a couple of times as well. Yeah, and the, yeah. the sort of dryness of it, I've I've enjoyed. This is just super, super <sighs> elegant. I don't really understand good, why it? it's not um, uh, more widely kind of known. They could have rebranded a few times and they've like... Yeah, I think they lost their way slightly with the whole image of what they were doing. And didn't they rebrand and become much cheaper? Maybe. I think, that, yeah, they went from like £160 for 100 mil down to about 100 Um Always the right direction. I love I it. Say. Like, yeah, yeah I, I do. I haven't worn it so much in the summer, but I wore it loads like over Christmas, spring, and it was just a... Like, kind of Lovely a in the spring as well. Really lovely in the spring, but it's just easy going. This you know this green barber shop shaving cream spiced, thing, yeah, little, real little bits of spice, foam. and it feels very classic, but without feeling at all sort of dated or old fashioned. No, this yeah, you, you like. And I'm not a compliment person, but I've had a lot of compliments mm. wearing this. People say, "Oh, that's really good. What are you wearing?" I like that a lot. It's nice. It's always nice to hear. It's really good. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. And Mumbai, I imagine, in the summer is probably hotter than the sun. Yeah, if not the same temperature. So, yeah. Although, I think we had like record temperatures, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, like a gajillion degrees. We won. Or lost, depending on how you think about it. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Good so choice. So, what do you have? So, uh, I'm going to start with my first choice, which is a new purchase uh, for this year. 
which was Hive Mind awesome. uh, by uh, Red Lesson. You can see there's that little um, beehive on top, and that is what this fragrance is about. So it's a, I don't normally like sweet fragrances, so this is a sort of like bee honey fragrance without being being um, <laughs> too um, overly uh, sweet. Yeah, it's not especially cloying or over the top, is it? It's just, this is a honey thing. It's so happy making. Beautiful. Oh, so there's, there's a lovely kind of like an oily kind of citrusy top, mm. but straight away you get that kind of beeswax balanced with the kind of like cedary woodiness. That's but so good. For, um, when I first smelled this, and, and I kept, when I wore this over the summer, it was to kind of rekindle that first image I have, which was this mock orange bush um, in, in, in a kind of pub garden, like next to a beehive, and it just feels somehow yeah. summery, bright, and gardeny, and uplifting. It's and very much sort of forcing you to stand outdoors in nature and enjoy it and yes. be grateful for yeah. life, isn't it? It really is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's such a... It really does smell like things in nature. You know, we sometimes yeah. talk about whether things are natural, synthetic, and blah, blah, blah. Um, it just, it really gives such immediate... It almost doesn't quite smell like perfume because it smells like things... It's better than perfume. Bees, it's just bushes. Being. Um, pun the pun. Yeah, also very, like, very easy to wear, I would imagine. Yeah, very well, that's easy, why like, just beautiful and. Put easy, it on and but be yet, happy. but still rewarding and kind of complex and. Yeah. And I don't really know anything that smells quite like this. No, I so can't it's, think it's of anything. It's kind of quite like unique, but. And he's a lovely guy, actually. I met him way, way back in, mm, in I mean, the yeah. Hammersmith and a really nice guy. I thought he was, you know, really passionate about what he was doing clearly knows how to do it. But there are just some fragrances when we, you know, do these videos that I spray and I think, oh, yes, it just has an immediate reaction. Yeah, Every time I, one, I, I it? sprayed it. And actually, I can kind of see myself wearing this all the way through the year. Maybe in the depths of winter, I can also spray it just to have that kind of pick me up. Yeah. I didn't, I mean, this is Absolutely. one I didn't go for when it got mega hot, I didn't go for it. But certainly at the beginning of, at the beginning of summer, and actually recently in the last kind of few days as it's cooled down, I did um, really enjoy. And yeah. it's just, it smells, it smells like a smile. But Sorry, it's made you sneeze. It, it's not the perfume at all. It's yeah. just I had something earlier on that's still in my in my nose. Yeah. So, what is your number two? Um, I think my number two is going to be round and green. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> it's club. It's totally <laughs> club. But I'm sorry, but no, this Aqua is this is Aqua de Palma. This is an old favourite of mine. Now discontinued, and I think they've released something called C L U B, separate letters and a big kind of clear bottle. There's hardly anything in there because I have worn oh, it quite a bit. Could we eke anything out? We'll try and give it a little spritzer. Oh, oh. oh you got a bit. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So sorry. the atomizer was just broken yeah. because I, I tried that the other day and it wasn't so good. Oh, there's a real kind of like actual kind of herbaceous depth to that. Yeah. I get that. I kind of get. The, Very minty the, green as well. I get the choice of it as a kind of summary. That it, there's something bright and energetic, but there is a yeah. There's a kind of herbaceous yeah. depth. And I, like for me, the thing I loved was this this um, relationship to polo green. Mm -hmm. Well, not polo green, polo, polo sport. sport, which is something I, I really loved back in the day in the mid nineties. But actually, I, I slightly get a, a relationship to polo green as well. There's a kind of yeah. gentlemanly quality, like a, a kind of gentleman's club. You know, I guess yeah, club, but yeah, absolutely. Like, a little to, a little to sort of tobacco in yours is maybe some some minty yeah, definitely minty sort of spear minty peppermint yeah. Um, methylated yeah. cooling aspect it is cooling isn't it mm. i love that especially after a cheeky shave i find it just it feels like what i need no you should never shave no. it's too good um but the trouble is i mean it's a very fleeting thing oh really yeah i mean mm. it's it's and it's fine because i don't mind reapplying it which is why the bottle is, is empty so quickly compared to some of my bigger things but I do have to take it out with me so that halfway through the day, if I want to reapply, I can. There's a certain which I don't relationship mind. to uh, one of my fragrances. You might not get this, but there's this. When we get to it, I'll mention it. But uh -huh. One of my fragrances we can talk about later. Nice. I, that, it's, it's a good thing. I, it's a sort of simple, dumb reach for me. And I think I will try and get hold of another bottle because I enjoy it. It's nothing groundbreaking, but it sort of does the job. Yeah. Lovely jobby. What's your next? Right. Something completely different. So th this is one which I. Uh, um, really enjoyed on the, the particularly hot days. It is Venetian 
flower or Venetian flower ah, yes. uh, yeah flower by Pomares um, stolen perfume so we did a little overview of this house was it last year I can't remember yeah anyway, and it was a um, while ago wasn't it I feel like it was this year at some point it's definitely last year was, was it, it? Last, yeah um, uh, so this oh Pomares yes yeah. sorry sorry it was yes, last and year. Um, as as the name would suggest, you know, this is about flowers, gardenia, jasmine, beautiful white, blooming flowers oh, going in the middle. But you. one of the most exciting things uh, or enjoyable and original things about this wow. is the kind of the kind of fruit cocktail in which it's um, set. You kind of get this so lighty good. guava, fruit juicy. And, you know, I don't often don't like sweet, fruity fragrances because for the for the most part any kind of fruit um, accords in perfume are kind of synthetic and can be a bit overdone you know but for this it's an all natural perfume it's um, really balanced with a savory toasty edge for me yeah the, yeah there is a, like a sort of toasted <coughs> brioche yeah something. there's a real interesting bready quality there's also a a slight almost aldehydic quality yeah like a waxiness you know and like aldehydes although we think of aldehydes as being you know super kind of synthetic they do occur naturally um and that really kind of comes through and it's just it's this kind of lily oh. kind of vibe as well and it just it just feels like bathing yourself in kind of fruit juices and absolutely i said it, it's a bit it's a little bit muggy today so i'm just going to give i know we're doing a video we're going to smell the things but just i just feel it, it's so um when you are a bit like hot and sweaty it's just invigorating and oh, almost it feels like, like it kind of needs the human warmth doesn't it it needs the warmth of skin to really but it, come alive. it, it comes alive, here, but also beautiful. like it just counters it, and it's almost like just having a you know, a, a, like showering, bathing yourself in this yeah, kind of that's fruitless. really, really good. Love it, lovely. I'm a big fan of that, <clears throat> I'm a huge fan of that actually. What's um, your next? My next is a little thing from a wonderful <gasps> perfumer, Sarah McCartney, who we, <sighs> I, we've talked about a lot. I really want to, it's been a while since. So, Freeway now, th I love this because I love this. Um, sort of petty grain oil go for it give it a switch this petty grain oil and then combined with a sort of like a hot tarmac sort of slight leathery aspect i love the combination and on skin i just mm, find i find it really warm something warms up. burnt in the middle of that isn't it yeah <coughs> I, I, I get this sort of car tire on a hot road on mm. a hot day but, but then with the orange the oily orange it's thing super in the oily top. isn't it the citrus yeah. is super oily you know, like a, like a freshly, you know, you squeezed it off the peel. Yeah. You know, sometimes if you peel an orange, your, your, your fingers are left with yeah. that oily. Or you rub it if you're having an old fashioned or something, you rub that. Yeah, peel yeah, yeah, yeah. And Actually, the smokiness and the peatiness I'm of a whiskey. I'm now getting a it. big Negroni. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say no to that. Like Campari, yeah. orange. There's a really, that burnt quality is really interesting. It's intriguing, isn't it? That, I think <clears> that's what drew me to it. It wasn't just this petty grain, it was, it was mm. that thing underneath it. Like some kind of toasted oily. nuts as well. Like, yeah, maybe. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I can see Very why that savoury, serious edge behind yeah. that. Yeah, it's. I can see why it would really work as a. You know, you've got the kind of got the ov obvious uplifting kind of oily citrus quality, but there's quite a lot else going on underneath. Yeah. I mean, I I think it's really good perfume. I yeah, think it's a really good perfume. There's some kind of link between burnt cedar and rainbow doves. I don't know if it's the kind of like maybe. burnt cedar in this. Which is another one of her fragrances. Which it is gives you that very dry, savoury edge, doesn't it? Mm. I know what you mean. But which, which is a, a fragrance which I would think of as intensely autumnal. Whereas it actually kind of... Uh, maybe there's just, just a little suggestion of it in this. And I love, I love having a top that's very much this kind of oily citrus rather than like just the sparkling bright... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Z it, it, you know, um, it's not juice that, Yeah, itself. it's not the juice. It's, it, yeah, it is oil. Straight and, to the oil. Straight yeah. to, it's like straight to business for yeah. me. And very, I mean, very easy to wear. I, mm. I really enjoy it. I've not worn a huge amount. You can see. I mean, look at that. It's mm. Just a little bit, but I really, really like it. That's and I love stuff. this image of the freeway yeah. with all the cars and the sun beating down and the newly tarmacked road, and then or, you know, orange trees mm. either side of the of the road. That fresh smell, wind down the window. You get the combination of both. Lovely, lovely. Yeah. Sarah McCartney does it again. Wonderful. So, from one British female perfumer. Uh, to another, uh, I'm going to talk about Hera by Papillon. So I'm ah, sticking wonderful. with my kind of uh, um, uh, uh, floral fragrances. Uh, so just for kind of full disclosure, so this was sent to me by Liz. I did not um, buy this fragrance, but it's one I wore 
and actually I wore it at, so it, it, the, it, especially at the beginning of summer I was ended up singing a, lo a lot of weddings I think lots of people had you know it was postponed Covid weddings yeah so there are a lot of them yeah, oh, God. I had a few here Can you, that's glorious isn't it like I've filling up the, sp uh, uh, the, the, the space so this is <laughs> and, I, and I did yeah, wear it yeah. uh, uh, there's one wedding I wore it for when I walked up the, uh, the, the, the stairs to, to go into the chapel and I heard of some people behind me go oh my god can you smell the flowers they smell amazing um and hands, so, hands down, one of the so this things. is yeah. expensive, rich uh, uh, flowers. It's real kind of, quality, isn't it? Um, so this, it's really orisy. This kind of like a yeah. narcissistic kind of dry Big quality. Oris. But there's also this really um, champagne-like kind of fizzy, bright, uplifting, pert, effervescent. Um, yeah, very effervescent. Absolutely, super fizzy. And Brett seed, but just bubbly, and it, and I just loved when I when I wore it. Whilst there is this kind of like thick um, floral quality, it, it just feels bright and energetic, and yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that's absolutely beautiful. I think it's a great tribute to her to her daughter. Yeah, I think that's a wonderful tribute. But it's lovely that we can share it, and yeah, and, I'm and so grateful. Whilst it it, it was a wedding fragrance for her daughter. I've loved wearing it, you know, yeah. as a bearded man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, and, and, you should I, 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 I feel it really works on me, and uh, and I felt I, I wore it on some really kind of quite hot days, and you would think maybe those kind of orisy leatheriness could go a bit cloying, but it, it didn't feel like that. I really felt it just jumped off my yeah. skin. It's so nicely balanced as well. You can tell even on the card in five seconds, it's so yeah. beautifully, seamlessly blended. I mean, it's, this is not a cheap fragrance. This is her most expensive uh, fragrance by. A while and do not uh, blind buy a fragrance like no. this. Definitely, definitely. Never buy by anything. Never buy, but especially with something um, expensive. No matter how much anybody, great anybody tells you, just sample it first. Love that. But I loved wearing this this summer. Lovely, lovely. Awesome. Um, next, I'm going for New York. Not New York. Nikolai. No, no. Not he, New York. He Nikolai yeah. Capneroli. Now. I've, I mean, I've loved this for a little while. This is one a few times you've worn this this summer. Yeah. And yeah, I've just kind of smelt it on you. And occasionally you wear something and I think, oh my God, that smells amazing. Yeah. And, I mean, and look at it. There's nothing left. You only got it this summer, didn't you? I bought this in July. <laughs> and I've worn it a lot because I needed to. Because <laughs> yeah. I was very stressed. Um, and this just made me feel better. And so it's all gone. Yeah. Oh, well, there's something there. You <laughs> yeah. can, I mean, try and get a spritz out of oh, that well, if well, you well, can. Oh, I but... I mean, it's, yeah, it's Neroli, it's kind of orange Imagine. blossom, it's, uh, there's lots of kind of familiar kind of notes there, but when, yeah. I, when I smell to you on it, it just smells super elegant, and it's one of those fragrances that, which I guess, like, I hear it, it just smells expensive. It's not as expensive as here, but it, it's... It's actually really good value as well, and it, you know, I have to say, I, I regret slightly buying a small 30 ml bottle. I think when I go back, probably in the next few days, I will just buy a big bottle. Big and I will wear this in the, in the autumn and the winter now yeah. then as well, just for something uplifting. But for me, I love the Neroli aspect, and that's all fine. But what I love is this slight tobacco y, oak mossy thing, just mm. a gentle hint yeah. behind it. And it means that it gives it a bit more body, a bit more interest. It's like a grown up clone, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's like a yeah. grown There are lots of notes familiar with the classic cologne but this is just done your more expensive bit more grown up yeah bit more thinking. it just makes me so happy and i've had lots of really quite lovely experiences over the summer wearing this and mm. it just reminds me and i think ah yeah good it's 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 this thing has has been a has been a new favorite for me i only really discovered it mm. this year and i'm really glad i did and i would never i would never ordinarily go into nicola and think i'm gonna buy a neroli fragrance mm. i fancy a neroli i would always go in looking for an oud a yeah. new york intense that kind of thing um, so I'm very happy with that. Nice. And I will buy another bottle. Good choice. Hold on. Right, my number four. I, I'm, so I'm going for two. I'm another a female perfumer, actually, interestingly. This time, Chion Reintol. So, ah. now, so I'm going to give... I've got two here. So I've got Mekong and Jasmine Yuzu. So the reason I've got two is... Like slightly frustratingly, so these are both, uh, you can't buy these anymore. She always does limited batches. Yeah. Um, which I know is frustrating when people talk about things they can't buy. But so these are kind of just examples because um, of her fragrances. Um, I own, I've bought quite a few of her fragrances uh, over, over the last few years since we did an overview of the house. Um, 
and these two in particular just worked so well in, in the summer but there's there are others on the website which I'm sure will work just as well you know I having just said don't buy blind buy I having bought some of her fragrances I would feel comfortable buying buying from her because I know that there, there is that the quality is you know, absolutely but this this it will one, always be something interesting this M- Mekong um especially it's a kind of Oh, really love it. So it's this kind of petty grain mm. and tea, and it's super uplifting and really good. But again, it's it, it, similar to the Cap Neroli in, in a way because there's a great kind of feeling of depth underneath it. I mean, you can yeah. have this bright, zingy, oily petty but grain. It backs it up, doesn't it? Loads of kind of tea as well, and That's really good. there's a real like floral complexity to the mid. Um, but it's one of those I fragrances. Love that tea, though the tea for me is really coming. Yeah. Through. Oh. But it, it feels good. like a. It it does the kind of uplifting, happy making stuff you want from a, a from a summer fragrance. Yeah. But there's lots of body and complexity, um, uh, yeah. underneath it. That's fantastic, actually. It really, it really is uh, frustrating. Frustrating. Fantastic. <laughs> it's frustrating that you can't buy it anymore. Um, but I, I found. Mm. Um, Especially on the really hot days, the way it just comes off your skin as well, yeah. uh, and just fills the space, it was really invigorating. Beautiful, actually. Um, really, um, really beautiful. Not a million miles away from the Capnerelli. Well, I think that's yeah. They're different, but yeah. I, but, th- I mean, there's, this is much more complex. Well, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure about that. I mean, they're different. I mean, this, these are all, all natural fragrances. So she's now changed her name. Uh, it's no longer called TRMP. It's just called uh, Turn Right Hole. And I think because people kept thinking TRMP was turnip like without the vowels yeah or, or, or some high explosive yeah which <laughs> yeah, is yeah. TNT so it's not just a TRMP very, right very, on, but, um, very seductive and very addictive as well I can really imagine addictive. I couldn't stop yeah. smelling my arm if I was wearing this loved it mm. but I, I got a lot of wear especially at, very uh, juicy citrus two. as well very realistic yeah you can sort of taste it it's very tart eat it mm. wow that's my number four what's and yours? what's the other one because you had two Oh, oh, so so the, oh, the well, so the other one was um, you know, uh, jasmine yuzu, um, which is two notes I really got into. Especially yeah. yuzu is, uh, you know, as I've been like dabbling like with oils and stuff and making fragrances, yuzu is my kind of like go-to. Did you ever like kitchen. isumiyaki, like you know that original one? Because that, that's a big yuzu. Oh, that's, I think. Oh, just breaking me coming again. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, yes, I quite enjoyed that. Yeah, back in the yeah. Day. Um, but yeah, yuzu has been my kind of preferred. Um, Citrus, I think, just maybe. It's a Karl Lagerfeld quite... fragrance, isn't there? Um, what do you do? I mean, that's very jasmine as well. Like, but it's just, yeah, really jasmine heavy, isn't it? That's much more. I mean, big... I, I don't pick up the yuzu as much, really. I, but I get, it's so I get thick with jasmine. I like that. I have to say, I prefer Mekon just on first initial mm. like bam. But I can smell the quality here. It's fantastic. Mm. Really intriguing, a bit sort of more serious, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's, it's weird. It, on the card, it does smell quite jasmine whereas I th- actually, when I've been wearing it in the summer, it's felt quite uplifting and, and bright and not so quite heavy and floral. Yeah. But, I mean... It, oh, it's very really good. It's, just, it's, getting a very clean, it's getting a very clean, freshly laundered shirt aspect now. Yeah, well, it's just... Yeah, that's, that's what I've enjoyed it for. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's Lovely really, joke. really good. I mean, they're all good. They're all good. Get yourself some samples. Um, what, what's your well, what's your number five? So number five is a very is a real cheapie, but I can't not bring it up. <laughs> Nautica Voyage by Maurice Roussel. Um, this was like One seven five, seven quid, and it's important every Pretty now and then. Look at that! Look at that disgustingly weird. Thing. <laughs> and I ha- I mean I had a bottle from the States which I bought in the States <clears> with a metal cap, and that was different to this. That felt a lot better. Oh, really? I had to buy. I lost it. I had to buy this one since, and I do. I do it's a big, still big, like uh, it. Big financial outlay. I know this was like two pounds more, <laughs> but I, I know it's cheapest chips. But it does, it does a very easy job for me, which is an addition like to a. a shower. Yeah, like, exactly. Like it's, it's like, like just having gel, a nice yeah. shower gel that lingers a little bit. Really good if, if I don't really want to wear a perfume, but I just yeah, want to have a spritz deep, of yeah. something clean. Um, CK One is, is similar, but I think CK One is a masterpiece. But I like that thing that's mm. just not perfumey and doesn't in, doesn't involve me too much. But just yeah, I guess enough, maybe when it gets really hot and you think like, oh, I can't, can't face wearing anything kind of. That's perfumey. it. I just give I give a quick spritz of that on the neck or under the shirt, mm. and it's just it's a little kind of extra freshness. Yeah. But you know, it's it's by one of the great perfumers of all time. Yeah, thing. absolutely. Yeah. You know, he's 
what he's done on probably the slow, the worst budget he's ever been offered. Yeah, I think is is really good. That's like Apple Accord. Yeah, sort of gentle woodsy. I mean, it's cheapest chips. Much so imitated. It is what it is. Yeah, probably better. Well, but I enjoy it. Lovely. So, oh, let's go get another whiff. My, to so, my my last choice. I mean, I can't. Mm. This is one. As soon as it starts to get really hot, I always have to. Ah. Uh, Pegwell Bay by Hercules. So I remember I first encountered this in a little shop in Margate about six or seven years ago, and I actually went back to Margate. Yes. Uh, this uh, summer, a few weeks ago, and I actually went to Pegwell Bay. If you go on our Instagram account, I'll show you. There's a picture of this fragrance. Um, and when you go to Pegwell Bay, there's loads and loads and loads of wild fennel everywhere, and you get that this is so good, amazing like fennelly herbaceousness I just I remember the first time I encountered this fragrance I was like yes I felt th this is the fragrance I've been looking for, for forever I all, so many summery fragrances I found I didn't want something which is just light and unsubstantial no uh, and I managed to find this which is herbaceous and citrusy but had so much body and it lasts forever Big I mean this has got richer down. in the bottle over the years hasn't it I think I it has yeah it's got again, some real depth just from this yeah yours is more friendly than mine Interesting. Mine feels a bit more woodsy than this. Yeah. See, I, I hadn't actually realised. I don't. Mm. This is really weird, but I've actually chosen. Uh, this would be my third all-natural um, fragrance, and it's not. I, I'm not somebody at all who just goes for all, all, all natural fragrances. No, no. Um, but I, I guess just the, happened that the way. nature of it, having lots of naturals, it will change. I think that's a really even great more in the bottle. But I love it, and it's just. It's just. I'm always going to buy it. There's just. Yeah. Certain fragrances that I just kind of connect with, and you know, if I was only going to keep, you know, five, if I was only going to keep one of these, realistically, I would keep Pegwell Bay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Same here. I mean, I think if of, of the ones I've got, Pegwell Bay is is one that I will always want to have. Yeah, I think I think it's fantastic, and it's it's like it does what so many of the other competitors out there are trying to do, mm. and it just does it better. Yeah, and it's more photorealistic. It performs better. It's beautiful. It's I think natural. it's just one of those fragrances. It's interesting as a concept. I think I'm quite, you know, I form, I form quite strong attachments to fragrances. Yeah. And it's one that, you know, when I encountered it in the shop, um, you know, I just, it just suddenly clicked. Yeah. And then ever since you I just, just know, had it, you? I thought like, you know, it just, yeah, form an attachment to it. Yeah. I'm not surprised. It's beautiful. Mm. Right. And I, yeah, I've well, been smelling some of the others recently because I've got lots of the little small bottles yeah yeah i've been wearing them and they are there's some really interesting things well there. i did that because like, i went around there's some of the other house. sites and i tried to kind of i was near richborough so i wore richborough yeah. rich dreamland wore a bit of dreamland yeah so. <laughs> well you, uh, being in the locations is yeah. amazing all factory tour right that's my five so no. yes that's your five i've got one more which is a six <gasps> basically which is geranium which we've <sighs> both we've both talked about before and again, I think I will never be without this for the summer months. And actually, I well, you you wore it today. So when I first met I you, it today. Uh, like it smelled it was like. And, and actually, I think we both we said on the hottest day of oh. the year, where I nearly died. I mean, there you go. You, you uh, can't go wrong. We you? we both went for this on the hottest day. Yeah. And it's that that searing. It calls you, it calls you down. Really cooling. It's really got that kind of mm. spearminty, toothpastey, super refreshing. Yeah. Very. Very much like it's been in a fridge, even when it hasn't. Yeah. Even though these are often are kept in some sort of refrigerated yeah. unit. Um, and I, if you said to me, would you like to wear a fragrance that smells a bit toothpastey and minty? I would but, say not really. Mm, but, <sighs> but the first time I wore that years ago, I thought, I need to have that. I really yeah. like it. Um, a house which we, we've not, we've talked about a bit, haven't we? But, you know, the, the bit, lots yeah, of yeah, interesting yeah, perfumes yeah, there. Yeah. Um, and I will always be interested in what they're coming up with and what they're doing. And, and again, yeah, just you know, Frederick Miles putting perfumers at the forefront, putting yeah. those names, it's really fantastic. thinking that's what it's about. It's not about the big LVMH or whoever it is. It's no, about, no. It's about the person at the forefront. And I love the versatility. You know, Dominic Ropion could do something like that, but then do Portrait of a Lady, mm -hmm. you know, within the same, the same yeah. house. I think the variety is incredible. Because yeah. that, I mean, that's the polar opposite. Yeah, yeah. And it's the, I mean, it's, well, there, there's another one where he talks, where, you know, the patchouli one, what's that, monsieur. But generally, if, if he was going to designate a sort of a female fragrance, a male fragrance by name, hmm. he's done it with Portrait of a Lady, Geranium Pour yeah, Monsieur. Yeah. And they're such polar opposites. 
And I, I mean, I wear them both and I love them both. Mm. I think he's a genius. It's a good lad. Yeah. So yeah, that's just a few little things so I've been So there you go, so that's what we have been wearing. It's yeah. the end of the summer. And I know everybody else is doing their, their Christmas fragrances list right now. But yes. <laughs> I'm actually going to get in ahead and do my autumn 2024 list next week. Yeah, clever. So just to be... Nice. Um, but tell us, like, if you've been, you know, if you, it's been a stupidly hot summer, have you been reaching for the same thing? Have your tastes changed? Have you been going for lots of, I don't know, heavily sugary, yeah. thick, sweet, sticky... Have you been off perfume altogether? I, like, I for a little while, yeah, was yeah, off yeah, perfume and I just lot, yeah. wasn't wearing much. I just yeah. thought, mm. um, It's interesting to know, isn't it? Yeah, but do let us know. Yeah, and stay cool. And I can't time. wait to the cool. autumn, to be honest. Sorry, yeah, I just want it to be we rain wanna, and be cold. We want to get all our filthy beasts out, don't Get we? the youths out. Yeah. Until next time. Bye. Happy sniffing. <laughs>